And this is a time of year when communities really join together. WKRG.com mobile journalist Colleen Peterson tells us how one family in Spanish Fort started a Thanksgiving food drive. The Bacon family in Spanish Fort is reaching out to the community to make sure everyone gets a meal this Thanksgiving. They started a food drive last Sunday to collect goods to hand out to families around the community in need. We're not like one of the big food banks, so we're doing this on our own. And we started with our own money. Until a few posts on Facebook led to an outflow of support. It evolved into people giving donations, and we keep going back to the stores. It's been a really good response to the community for people that really stepped up and said, hey, we want to give. From turkey to stuffing and potatoes, they are accepting food donations. They are also accepting money donations through Venmo or mailed in checks. It feels great. I like to give back to the community. The Bacon family then delivers the food to the families that reached out to them on Facebook. And we were out to about seven last night delivering packages. Many families in their community have experienced hardship this year. Some of the stories we've heard is just the number of people that died from COVID in their families. We got people with cancer. It brings them gratitude to be able to help. And be able to give them something that they didn't have and let them know somebody that cares. If you know of a family in need this Thanksgiving, contact Rob Bacon on Facebook. So, Alex, the last question I have what are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? I'm thankful for my friends, family, and the home I live in. All right. Well, you can drop off donations throughout Thanksgiving Day to help feed the community. Reporting in Spanish for iMobile journalist Colleen Peterson alongside Alex with WKRG News, News 5. 5.